Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to my press conference and yes, Shorty is alive. He hasn't been admitted to a psych ward, he's he's still going but um, apologies about the delay. I didn't just crack the shits and uh, take a few days to get over it. I know there's a bit of turmoil with my side still but um, we had a few laptop issues. Um, you know, I had to get a new laptop so hopefully the webcam is coming through nicely, hopefully all the settings and the webcam is, is all going uh, pretty similar. But could have been the fact that I had the other laptop for nine years. It, it could have also been the fact uh, that I poured some water over it. So, yeah, technology advice. Don't spill half a glass of water on your laptop. Probably cook it. So, anyway, let's take a look at my side, which is going about as well as my old laptop. Um, eesh, yikes. Now, look. Before we really get stuck into it, I knew this week was going to be a bad week. I knew it was going to be a bad week because I couldn't really improve my side. Um, I'm really looking forward to improving my team this week at last. And, um, you know, there'll be plenty of criticism come my way for, um, you know, another shocking week. But um, And I'll wear that. But I, I, I do have a good plan in place to, to improve this team. And, and if there's one positive, you know, there are some handy rookie scores pumping out 60s and 70s. Just enough to sort of eke out a bit of coin. Um, before I jump into the actual team, I'll be going live on Thursday um, at 7.30 p.m. I was really keen to sort of just get the laptop, um, the new one up and running and install Movie Maker and install this, install that. So I was pleased to at least get this one up and give you guys a little bit of notice. So hopefully you can join me. Um, whether it's to ask me a question or, or simply get stuck into me about my side, I'll take either. I'll take all comers. Um, but yeah, look, it was again, you know, another tough week. Let me just get the get that a little bit bigger there. Um, and you'll see Tom Stewart as my captain there. <laughs> I'll give you a little story in a minute. Uh, so much just continues to go wrong with this team. Um, when Jordan Dugowie went out early, I was at work and I saw him in the change rooms. I just had to laugh. I just thought, you're kidding me. Because um, I, I entered the round with Flynn out and I knew that. And yes, it's frustrating. But the long-term decision is far better to have not just panic traded him and got rid of him and get an extra whatever points during the week. Um but the better long-term view is to, is to wait, um, you know. And, and this week I'll be able to go Drew to Oliver and um, Draper to Gorn. You know, Gorn's just in unbelievable form. And, you know, I've got to wear that one. You know, I think Shorty might park the old premium ruck and mid-price ruck set up because set and forget is just proving, you know, the way to go. And, you know, I've only got myself to blame for that. People warned me, people told me, but... Um, Sometimes you you make calls, you go with decisions, and sometimes they come off, sometimes they don't. And uh, more often than not this year, they probably don't. But um, as you can see, there's a bit going on with this team on the negative basis. And Jones is going nicely. Chapman continues to rise up. It was nice to get a decent score out of Kaczynski. Um, you know, just hopefully he can boost his his budget up and his price a little bit in the future. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Yikes. I'm gonna gonna stop that. <sighs> but you know, there's there's clearly a lot of premiums that just aren't going how I'd like either. You know, if it wasn't for Callie's brilliant finish to the game, we would have been looking at another poor score. Mitchell, you know, really needs forty touches to hurt you. Um Simpkin just has been atrocious. More of a clanger king than, than I anticipated. Um, but look, we'll take solace in some of these rookies and the fact that Heppel is, you know, going to be a consistent scorer by the looks of it. Um, Zebel has really turned himself into a premium. And, and it's about time that some of these Sydney Swans rookies probably get offloaded. You know, I'm sure I'll get that question a little bit in the live session, but, you know... Golden and Warner could certainly go. You could certainly keep them as well. But they've done their job. They've made us, you know, about $200,000. Fantastic. We can start to offload them. And, you know, a lot of people would have been hurt by Ridley. For those that don't have him, 
it'll be a good opportunity to pick him up pretty soon. Um, Steel side bottom, I think, is just starting to find some form and should be a really nice pickup um, in the forward line. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Callum Mills, you know, he hasn't quite set the world on fire since that round one score, but I still think he's a solid option down back. Um, like I said, Clayton Oliver, great chance to bring him in after he gets rid of that 60 against DeBoer from a couple of weeks ago. Um, and there's a few other options that we can sort of start to look at that are dropping a little bit in price. You know, Paddy Dangerfield will go down in price um, when he does return. I'm not sure of the extent of that. <clears throat> Zach Butters as well is a guy that when he returns will have a 50 from a quiet game and a 96 from a half a footy. So that's pretty damn impressive. Um, now let me just tell you the story on how Tom Stewart came to be my captain. Now, this just summed it up for me, just how my year's going. So I've thought, I'll put the VC on Dunkley. Fantastic, he's on fire, he's doing exactly what I thought. Dominated the Suns, plenty of touches, goals, whatever. 148, cool, good as gold. Now, I also had, I would have at that point had Coldwell on the field because I wanted to get a little bit funky and just see what Campbell did. I wanted to see what he did so I could potentially um, emergency loophole him. Now, he didn't score that well, so I thought, ah, do I do I just go bang with um, getting that VC score now, or do I do I put Jordan onto the field for Caldwell? Because I had Barry the whole time, funnily enough, and I thought, ah, oh, look, you've got Jordan Clark back there, and I thought, you know, he's been dropped. Particularly being a Geelong fan, I thought he's been dropped. They'll definitely want him to get some form in the VFL. You know, youngster, had his opportunity. I don't think there's any chance that they want to give him any footy, do they? You know, surely it's time for a stint in the VFL. So I thought I'll, I'll whack the C on Clark. Now, I actually went and watched some VFL footy before the North Melbourne game on Sunday. And there's no Jordan Clark, there's no Quinton Narkle. And I'm thinking, Jesus... Come on, he's going to be the medical sub, isn't he? Oh, my God. And I'm I'm trying to muster around to get some damn Wi-Fi at GMHBA Stadium, which is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> You're just trying to log on to your Snapchat or send it off a couple of messages, Supercoach, whatever you want to do, and you can barely get some damn reception once a few people start to roll into the stadium. Oh, jeez, they get 15,000 people there and explodes their Wi-Fi. But... Um, so I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to miss out on a 150, you know, of all the things that have gone wrong. And, and even I could have, in the end, used Brockman as the emergency or my skipper and, and traded in Zebel to the bench, Brockman on field, put the C on Brockman, but I already had the emergency on row, which was pointless, really. But what that means is, you know, I would have got the lowest. If you've got two emergencies in the same line you'll get the lowest of those emergencies to replace your scorer. So I wouldn't have got Zeebles 148. So all of a sudden I'm left with the awkward question of, I can't leave the C on Clark because he'll be the medical sub, which we eventually found out. Um, but I can't roll those dice. Now he didn't come on, so it would have worked all right. But imagine <laughs> the way my year was going, I'm thinking he's going to come on for the last quarter and a half with something that's happened to a cat and he's going to score 19 and be my skipper. You know, I just couldn't afford that. So I had to get rid of the VC option. I couldn't take that. And I had to whack it on Stuart. And the irony was he scored 152. So again, I just had to laugh, you know. Just <laughs> couldn't believe how that panned out. I mean, very fortunate in a way. Um, you know, it's it's quite funny. There's not too many times I haven't taken a 148 at VC, but I really do think this medical sub is going to prove a nightmare for us in Supercoach land, worse than the original sub, because at least you knew if a guy was in the team. You know, it's like, okay, he's he's been named. He's a chance to be the sub. Where Clark's been dropped, and then all of a sudden on Sunday, it's like, oh, no, you'll probably be the medical sub. You're like, far out, well... You know, and it's really going to sting us, I think. Willem Drew's a good example. You know, gets dropped. 
and then comes on and plays a half. Now, he had quite a bit of the ball for half a footy, but, you know, imagine if they just come on for the last quarter or, you know, it's there is real potential for some of our rookies to just score unforeseen 20s and, and really stunt their growth in terms of their price. So it could prove a bit of a nightmare, but we'll just cross that bridge when it comes. And look, it's been a frustrating year. There's no doubt about that. It's The main positive really has been um, doing these live sessions with you guys because that's really been one thing that's gone from strength to strength. So I look forward to you guys joining me tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're not, we're not throwing in the towel at any stage and uh you know it's definitely as frustrated as i've ever been with super coach you know i just feel like i can't take a trick and anytime i get close you know you, you just you, you get a little degoey thing or you get an unforeseen dropping or omission you know, so it's been tough um but i maintain hope that we can at least salvage a decent second half of the season and it starts with this week you know i'm going to bring in gorn and oliver we can start it from there. There's a few falling premiums and a few decent rookies that have just about peaked for me and for you, I'm sure. So we'll look to utilise those. A bit of downgrade, upgrade action. So thanks again for tuning in. Apologies for a bit of a late one, but we're up and running now with the new laptop. Hopefully this has all come through pretty much as normal. I'll catch you tomorrow night for a bit of a live session, and I'll chat to you then. Cheers.